there, friends. Kevin here for the Core Progression Podcast, and we're doing yet another reaction video, and this time... I get to react to a brand new song by one of my favorite bands, and that is Falling in Reverse. With the popular Mons Tour just starting out, they released a cover of Papa Roach's Last Resort, and I'm like, um, how is this going to go? Especially for a reimagined side. However, we've seen what Ronnie's done with reimagined stuff with The Drug in Me Is You and I'm Not a Vampire 2. Great avail, so I can't wait for this one. Before we do that, though, make sure you hit this like button to make sure that you know this video gets pushed in the algorithm. You help us out, get more people to know about us, and of course, a lot of people already know about Falling in Reverse, but still, why not? Also, if you're not subscribed to the podcast, hit the subscribe button right down here. Helps make sure that you get to see every one of our reaction videos, whether it's a podcast reaction video, a song reaction video, and of course, our podcast episodes with some of the great rock and metal bands that are coming up today and the best today as well, every single Tuesday and Thursday. Enough with that. This shirt doesn't seem right. Give me a sec. You are the best. I'm still really curious to see how this is going to turn out, though. Huh. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my own. Oh wow. The isolated piano and the softness of Ronnie's vocals are fantastic. It adds so much more emotional weight to the song that's already there. It takes the rage up and just adds so much more emotion. Cut my life into pieces. I breach my last resort, suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm beating. Do you even care if I die? Bleeding? How is this working? You cannot deny how good this guy's vocal range is. All that string accompaniment uh, just, it, it's, it's starting to raise the hairs in my arms right now. The grandioso behind this is something that you expect in like every Roddy Radke made reimagination. And it just comes with such a grand feel to it, it's almost impossible not to feel how powerful it is. Oh, love that little dip in the vocals. Have I ever heard that scream from him before? How is this working? Like, listen to the Papa Roach version. There is no way this should be working, but this is absolutely hitting on every level. I, I'm shocked at this. I, 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 I'm I'm stunned. I know I shouldn't be stunned because every time Ronnie does something like this, it is incredible. But this is something different.
That was Ronnie's vocals that would have How? Just how? All right, so that was Ronnie Radke in Falling Reverse covering Last Resort by Papa Roach. I never thought that you could cover that song and reimagine it in any other way, just based on how synonymous it was, the aggression that it had behind it, the flow. It's so iconic. But you should never doubt Ronnie Radke in any of these instances. Just what he was able to do with that creates such an emotionally powerful ballad. The accompaniment with the piano, the strings, the orchestral build behind it, which we have seen him do in his other reimagines and, of course, the I'm Not a Vampire revamped. You know, it's nice to see this guy can just compose music well, probably better than almost anybody else can at this point. When you listen to songs like Popular Monster, Zombified, then you saw he did with Watch the World Burn, and now you're seeing what he's able to do by taking a song that is so synonymous with the like 2000s, that new metal scene, and turn it into an emotional ballad where he hits some notes and he has a vocal range that I knew he had a vast array. I did not know he could do some of that even. Th this is... This is absolutely incredible. This is something that gives Last Resort a completely different emotional feel to it. It keeps in line with the overall theme, but it brings forward a completely different feeling behind it. And that's what these great songs do when either someone covers it, reimagines it, does it, similar to kind of like Disturbing the Sound of Silence cover. It just added such a deeper layer of meaning behind the song. And... I'm almost dead set that Jacoby Shacks and the guys from Papa Roach are just floored by this. I mean, we've seen him take Ronnie Radkin Funniverse out on tour, and I, I'm I'm a little torn on my own end because I really cannot wait to see Fallen Reverse live again. I'm going to see him at Upheaval and at Louder Than Life. I love being the pit. You guys all know that. I, I just want to throw down like crazy. Hearing this live, though, if, he's, if he pulls it off, if he comes out and does it live, that's going to be something that's going to be a truly religious experience, even though it goes against my mindset of I just want to throw people around and go smashy smashy in the pit. But for a cover, for a reimagining, for everything that, he, that this, is, this is, this is a straight up 10 out of 10. There's no other way to put it. So, yeah. This was absolutely incredible. So I want to thank you guys for watching this reaction. Again, if you like the video, hit the like button right down there. If you want to subscribe to the podcast, make sure you don't miss out any podcast interviews we do, any reaction videos we do, hit the subscribe button, which will be right down here. If you're going to be at Upheaval in July of 2023 or at Louder Than Life in September 2023, when Fallen Reverse plays, come to the pit. You're going to see me in the middle of it the whole entire time. On that note, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'm out.